Hey guys, Rye here. On today's video, we're going to be talking about something very interesting, a story I almost guarantee you don't know. So we've got the Bears, we've got the Bulls, and as of 2021, we've now got the Apes, and that is the retail crowd tied to stocks like AMC or GameStop, for instance, but these Apes are not going anywhere. In today's video, I want to introduce you to the pioneer, the one who started it all, all the way back in the 1920s. His name, Clarence Saunders. The business, Piggly Wiggly's, and it was dubbed the Wall Street Raid 80, 90 years ago. So again, I want to let you guys know who started it all. Let's dive right into it right now. So our ape Clarence was born 1881, died 1953, but known as being an absolute pioneer of the modern day supermarket self-service model that we know and love here today. Piggly Wiggly started in 1916, just a quick FYI for you guys, started in 1916 in Tennessee, growing from one store all the way up to about 1,200 stores between himself as the owner and franchises uh, throughout America. Absolutely incredible. Uh, Piggly Wiggly was listed in this, on the New York Stock Exchange February of 1922. Uh, 50,000 shares were put out to the public at $43 a share at the time, which was a uh, big bucks, big bucks. So it was absolutely incredible launch for Piggly Wiggly. Now, the issue, though, came about and what made him a man uh, sorry, what turned him from a man into an ape uh, was called the Wall Street Raid. Now, this was in early 1920s, okay? So, you know, Clarence was obviously going through qu quite a bit of success, but he was facing a little bit of hard times, okay? Uh, Piggly Wiggly was facing some issues. He was facing some personal issues regarding loans on his own time. So in 1923, Merrill Lynch and a few other speculators on Wall Street decided to put a bear raid together on the Piggly Wiggly stock. They decided to short the stock, gambling that it would crash and fall eventually. So what Clarence did is, again, what defines him as an ape, maybe one of the first ever. What Clarence did is he took $10 million from a few bankers in the South, a little bit of his own money, and he absolutely counteracted their actions. He actually took out a bunch of ads in the local newspapers letting them know that his intention was to buy up as much of the stock as humanly possible, drive up the price, and destroy, to the best of his abilities, all of these short sellers for Piggly Wiggly. He was not going to have it, okay? And the similarities here is absolutely incredible when we look at GameStop and AMC. You know, Clarence Saunders here, he took to the newspapers to let people know what he was doing. Screw the short sellers. He was going to drive that price through the roof. Look, with AMC and GameStop, we had Reddit, and the whole community rallied. So the similarities were pretty interesting with the Wall Street raid and what happened here uh, in 2021. But um, with that loan from the Southern bankers, and again, like I said, a bit of his own cash, he was able to bring the price of shares from $39 in late 1922 to a, sh a, sh a shocking, staggering $124 by March of 1923, okay? Nearly four times the price of the stock, driving it up and absolutely hitting the bears over the head, uh, those who tried to uh, short his stock and hurt his, uh, hurt his precious, precious company, Piggly Wiggly. So when this happened, obviously, a 4X in the stock price, the New York Stock Exchange declared that Clarence Saunders, our ape, had officially cornered the market, okay? So in doing that, as opposed to the 24 hours the bears had to deliver him his stock, the stock exchange now gave the short sellers five days, okay? So it wasn't necessarily fantastic um, for Clarence because Clarence had loans that he had to repay immediately, okay? So this is where it falls apart for Clarence. He had loans that he had to repay dang near immediately, and these short sellers were given that extra little bit of time. That extra little bit of time was all they needed to really get the win over here on Clarence Saunders. Very bad market manipulation up the wazoo, but Clarence, you know, facing these loans and debt repayments that were due almost immediately, he had to liquidate and sell off a massive portion of his personal wealth and actually resign as the president of Piggly Wigglies. It did not end well for our good friend here, Clarence Thomas, maybe maybe the very first ape on Wall Street. But that's, uh, that's his story. He started it off again with one store, brought it all the way up to about 600 stores of his own, another 600 franchisees in 200 cities, over 40 states, uh, with people copying his idea, opening stores called Handy Andy, Helpy Selfie, Mick or Mac or the Jitney Jungle. They couldn't really mimic what he had done to the level that he had done it in the self-serve supermarket type of area, right? So he definitely changed the way that we 
we shop today, you can go into a grocery store today and thank our ape Clarence Saunders. But the Wall Street raid is pretty interesting. The way that he communicated his intentions, very similar to 2021, how Wall Street bets organized a, a genuine real community against an effort to bring down the hedge funds, to bring down those pesky short sellers. Um, because short selling, it's a tough topic for some people. Some people love it, some people hate it. But uh, short selling has obviously been a big issue, even going back to the 1920s. But our man here, Clarence, he wasn't going to take it. He wasn't going to stand for it. So like I said, he took that $10 million and said, shove it. And he brought that price from $39 to $124. He did his absolute best. Now, I will say this. It didn't end well for Clarence, okay? He had to give up his job. He had to give up most of his well throughout the years it did not end well for Clarence but it he had courage he absolutely stood up to again all of these bankers and speculators from Merrill Lynch massive people saying we're gonna bring you down he pulled a roaring kitty from Reddit an absolute ape move and he brought him down so that's today's video ladies and gentlemen a quickie like I said five six maybe seven minutes to fill you in a little bit on the world's first potentially world's first real ape okay so we've got the bulls we've got the bears and now we know who our caesar is our ape that's mr clarence saunders so i hope you guys had a fantastic uh, time i hope you guys learned something if you guys know of an epic short sell uh, story let me know in the comments below and by the way i'm going to be announcing the winner for the prize the month end september prize on the uh, market close live stream coming up very shortly if you're wondering how you can get in on winning these prizes basically just share any of my videos on social media screenshot it copy the copy the link uh, and then send me an email my email is in the about section of my channel page and you will be counted a potential winner for the end of month prize so again guys on your way out make sure to smash that like button but i I am most curious, most, most, most curious to know what are some of your short selling stories? Did you get in? Are you an ape? Did you get in with G, uh, GME GameStop? Did you get in with AMC Theaters? Let me know. Are you an ape? Are you a bull? Are you a bear? Let me know where you guys are. But this was a very interesting story. Very interesting, man. And like I said, we've got the bulls, we've got the bears, and now we know who our freaking ape godfather is he's the one like i said who started it all so thank you so much for being here join us on the market close live stream and for tomorrow's video make sure to hit like and subscribe and i will see you guys very soon